A special for your health report tonight involving skin cancer. Did you know that one in six Americans will get skin cancer in their lifetime? There are a million new cases each year. Oftentimes when it's removed from the face, it leaves a defect though. As Cynthia Dima shows us tonight, there is an amazing procedure that grows skin to make the affected areas look like new. 76 year old Dorothy Wolk recently learned she had skin cancer. Did biopsies and uh, told me that I had basal cell and then I went for the Mohs method. 67 year old Victor Gobi also had Mohs surgery which removes skin cancer in a very exact way. Patients are often left with a hole in their skin because the goal is to completely remove the cancer cells. Many patients come to me because they are left with a big defect from Mohs surgery. Facial plastic surgeon Jacob Steiger repairs these defects. They took um, cartilage from the sear they put it in the nose. Cartilage is removed from the ear and placed in the defective areas, but it'll take more than that for the area to heal. That tissue needs an, a, a blood supply from your body, just like a transplant would need blood to, to, in order to allow it to live. Amazingly, the tissue is attached to the cheek or forehead to create a new blood supply. After approximately two to three weeks, what happens is the area around the nose where you graft that tissue to will grow a new blood supply so we can then detach it. Once detached, the skin looks brand new. A scar on the forehead or cheek takes six months to a year to clear up. It's really not a, a real scar, really. Most surgery is so successful, doctors boast cure rates of 99%. Obviously, the two weeks the tissue is growing on the face may not look so attractive, but patients say it is well worth the brief inconvenience. For your health, Cynthia Demas, CBS 4 News.